Okay, this is the Roomba demonstration. Well, tell what the name is and why. The name is the Roomba demonstration. Oh, no, his name. His name is Harry. No, that's dumb. Yeah, H. We named him. Harry. And tell him why. H A R R I. Then I'm putting you on here. Home area. Home room area. Refreshing intelligence. Room refreshing intelligence because we're that lame. All right. Harry, anyway. a robot. So, here it is. Harry is sleeping. He's docked. You notice the green light means he's ready to go. And, and then here's, oh, what do we have here? Oh, San Diego beating the pants off of Denver. Okay, and here's the remote. If you want, you can drive it. That's fun. Chase the dog. And it's got a little scheduler that I haven't used yet. But I've scheduled it and it does work. <coughs> All right. And my wife says I need to clean the homeschool room. So I'm going to take this to the homeschool room. Normally you could just go down, hit this little button, and it kind of just beeps at you and takes off. But I'm going to pick it up and take it into the other room. Just to speed okay. this. And here we have this little device is the virtual wall. It's actually the lighthouse by iRobot. Right now it's in virtual wall mode because, well, it creates a wall. In lighthouse mode, it's supposed to let the Roomba through after the room is clean. We haven't tried that feature yet. So we're going to set the wall down here, like this. And so it doesn't leave this room full of stuff. Okay. And I'm going to hit this little button. And it's going to clean. It woke up. Hit it again. Uh -huh, I can't go this way. And here it is. And it's got a few different behaviors. One is a wall following behavior, which I believe it's doing right now. It's going to follow what it believes is the wall. And then it switches. It hit its virtual wall there. Now it's going to do a crisscross behavior. It does a crisscross behavior, and then it goes into a super dirt cleaning mode behavior where it spirals around sometimes. Um, another thing that it does, if it uh, senses dirt, a little blue light comes on, and then it spirals all over the place. Ooh, it's got the boogie on now. So here it is, cleaning our house. It's very exciting. And it says it takes about 25 minutes for the average size room. I've noticed in this room, it takes a little longer than 25 minutes to cover the room. And it says it takes longer just because it senses how much dirt is in the carpet. So here it is. And I have a little piece of plastic for where those computers are over there where the chairs sit. And you saw that it goes on to that just fine. There it is. Hit the virtual wall. Hit the real wall. Apparently it wants to clean that corner again because it thinks it's so dirty. And it's going to go in another direction there. This is very exciting. Watching the floor get cleaned in the cerebral home. And there it goes. Down around the mulberry bush. And I transferred onto that little piece of plastic, no problem, which is actually slightly raised. I will show you the rays on this just so you can see. It is slightly raised. It's kind of fun to chase the dog.
So here is the Roomba in action. Now I don't have a throw carpet in here. But I probably could throw one in the middle of the floor to demonstrate. Let me get a carpet. I'm just throwing a carpet on there just to demonstrate. This carpet is normally just sitting in our kitchen. Now we have to wait, you know, two days for this thing to actually make it to the carpet. Ooh, there it goes. Here's the transition. Now what you'll notice we got caught there, there's a little side brush that it sometimes gets hung up on, but it will go over this carpet by picking a different direction to go over it. The side brush is supposed to clean the, um, I don't know if you can see it there. See it there flicking around? It's supposed to clean uh, when you get up next to a wall. See in there, I got up on top of the carpet now. And it noticed it was dirty. There's the, I went and showed a blue light. So it did a little spiral there. I thought it was dirty, which we always step all over that with our shoes. So it doesn't surprise me that that was dirty. And we do have to empty the bin after every time that we use it, which isn't a big deal because it beats vacuuming. Of course, we spent a lot of time in the last week watching it vacuum. Pretty dumb. Get that little brush again. Oop, squash this potato head. So that's basically it. That's the Roomba in action. This is the Model 535, which is the fifth generation Roomba that accepts the um, scheduler remote control. Some of them have it built in. I like having a handy little remote. And that's it. And when it gets tired, it'll find itself to the dock. So, which we've seen it do. Say bye-bye, Harry. Bye-bye, Harry.